Hey guys, how's it going? So today I just wanted to share how you can make your own Lamar Roasting Franklin memes. I have realized that there's not really a lot of tutorials that directly just come out and say it like this. There's there's videos where you can kind of gather how to do it. So I'm gonna make this as simple as possible for you. So let's just jump right into it. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and show you how to install the mods because there's plenty of videos on that already, as well as if you just look underneath the mods on their pages you can get uh you know an idea of how to install it and the mods themselves usually have readme files that tell you what you need to do so i highly recommend that you do read those if you don't know what you're doing aside from that the two mods that you need are menus uh, trainer as well as character swap and obviously like i said read below because they require script hook and some other stuff so make sure you look at the requirements and install everything that go with that and then on top of that you can download some custom add-on pads if you want to make your own you know characters that are not in the game already if you have a character um that's you know a modded character that you want to put in there you need to get add-on pads as well and download the characters individually all that stuff so like i said i'm not going to show you an installation tutorial i'm just going to show you how to do it once you get everything you need all right, guys, once you get all of your mods installed, you're going to come to Franklin's house, which is right here at this little weird angle. So if you find like this little circular looking area, why is my mouse lagging? Yeah. And then you come to this little corner where there's this little slit. It's right here. Right. So now once you're here, um, obviously this is where the cutscene happens. I don't actually know if you need to be here. Uh, that's just the way I've always done it. And I, I'm, a lot, I'm able to like spawn in other stuff with like this scene director mod. Right. Anyways, this is center for the art of going crazy. You are such an old woman. They they won't stop screaming. I'm sorry. Anyways, what I was trying to say, so when you press uh when you press F8, you get both of these menus that pop up. Now by default these two mods actually conflict, and I think you could change the hotkeys. I don't really care to because I know how to work around it. So literally what you want to do is uh well first let's choose a character model for Lamar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up F8. And if you notice, this menu one on the left actually takes priority over what I'm doing with my arrow keys. So what I'm going to do is go to player options, model changer, and you can pretty much pick any model you want. Some of them won't work, but all the cutscene models will work and they'll actually be lip synced as well. So, you know, let's just do Devin, I guess, right? What is, I don't know what's going on with his face. What is that? Oh, he's like gagged. So that's actually a good thing so if you want a character that has something wrong with them or like a weird variant you can keep like let's let's go to barry not like how it's the same let's go to brad there's this version every time you press enter it'll do like a different variation i don't okay apparently this is his corpse that's weird i don't i don't know what's going on with that but sometimes what i'm trying to say is you sometimes have different variations of people and you might not want the variation that it's giving you. So let's go to like default Lamar. Or let's do, uh, let's do Jimmy, right? So there's, I don't know, I don't even know what's going on here, but as you can see, this is probably not what you want for the cutscene. You see how it gives you like all kinds of weird variations. What you do is you go to uh, wardrobe. You would go back and hit wardrobe and then the very bottom default components. Now you're getting like their default skin, which is usually what you want. If you want to change any of their stuff, you can go to any one of these things and cycle through them or whatever, but I'm just going to keep it at default. Now, now that I got that situation, uh, situated, I need to turn, uh, Jimmy into Lamar. So what I do here is I hit backspace until that menu closes. And now this menu is still open and I hit enter or something. So now it's on this weird screen. Let's just press back. We want to go to uh, presets. Uh, wait, no. Um, all models. So as you can see, this is every model in the game. Whichever one I press enter on, the skin that I have equipped on my character right now is going to change whatever model this is. So I guess if I press enter right now, cows are going to look like Jimmy. But we're obviously looking for Lamar. And you can hold down on the arrow and just slowly work your way all the way down to the bottom. But I know what it's called. If you go to custom input and you do CS Lamar Davis and hit enter, now it's set as Lamar. And I hit L, which opened up add-on peds, which allows me to use like these different models that I installed. So like for example, let's go ahead and hit Kermit. Right? So now I have Kermit equipped. I can do the same thing. I press F8, press back to get rid of that menu thing, and then we go to custom input, CS underscore Lamar Davis, boom. Now I hit backspace and all that's gone. Now Lamar is going to look like Kermit. 
So when I load the cutscene and I go to misc options and then I go to cutscene player and I scroll down, it is this one right here, number 36. If I hit enter, it's going to start playing. Now if I just press back and get rid of all that stuff. Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. And there you go. Nigga don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Now his mouth isn't moving. Maybe Tanisha call your dog. I guess his this character model doesn't have a mouth. But yeah, if you want to end the cutscene, you can just go to misc options, uh cutscene player, and hit stop cutscenes. So yeah, you can deal with every cutscene in the game. Um, you have to individually apply whatever model you want to characters. I, I don't. It's really scuffed, I'll be honest. I have all the default commands, and I assume most people doing this probably want to do the bare minimum as well. Um, so this is this is how you can do the bare minimum. Now, obviously, you just have to install these add-on heads and stuff. Like, oh, look, you got this dude or whatever, or Superman. You know, you got all kinds of different options to work with. So. Um, yeah, I hope that's uh, helpful for you. If this helped you, please leave a like. I'd appreciate it. Hit that sub button. You know, you can always unsubscribe if you ever find my videos annoying. I respect it. But, you know, it doesn't hit... What what I say? It doesn't hurt just to hit that sub button really quick, you know? So if you do that, I would appreciate it. I just figured I'd make this video because I haven't seen anybody else directly come out and be like, Hey, look, this is how you do it. So I just wanted to make it easy for some people that want to get into this themselves. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Take care.